What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right guys, this time we're going to jump into a GigaPan that has a couple anomalies that will have you scratching your head. Now, a couple of these have been seen by another anomaly hunter. He goes by the name Seamus Green, and I'm going to show you that. Uh, he's found a couple of items that are just pretty wild. One of them to me, again, just absolutely proves that there was an intelligent civilization on Mars, and it may still be. But let's get into this. I think you guys are going to like this a lot. All right, so let's jump in. This is the actual GigaPan we'll be looking at. And thank you to Neville Thompson. And this is the MSL 2312. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple of anomalies that are just boom. And you can see that they're trying to hide these things, but yet they're still, it still makes you scratch your head like, this can't be natural, right? Like starting with this area right here, I'm not sure what to make of that. Looks like this object is hanging off the cliff. But you can see how it goes up, has a nice corner, goes across, another corner, back down. And you can see whatever this is right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. See that? It's got some detail on whatever it is. And it's something else right here. You can see these lines. Let me see if I can zoom into this a little bit more. See this? Let's jump over here. Again, there's a couple of things in here I'm trying to find because there's several. This to me, guys, this is all a bunch of crap. This, this whole thing is crap. Um, this has been so manipulated and obfuscated. Um, we're going to jump way over here to this other side because this is where I, I find it amusing um, how some of these things are actually being made to look like uh, rocks and buttes and hillsides and they're actually structures. And that's only my opinion because I've been doing this for years. I've been looking at Mount Shop, the base of Mount Shop, in the mountains itself. And I can tell you without a doubt that they're absolutely being made to look like mountains and buttes. They're, they're all structures. They're, this this rover is literally sitting and going through structures like a, like a town or a city that's been completely wiped out. And what they're seeing is nothing more than debris and stuff like that. They're not up there to look for building blocks of life and crap like that. I mean, that may be initially what they started out to do, but that's not what they're doing now. Anyway, we've got this right here. You can see where it's been blurred right this line right here on over, all the way over to here, has been completely blurred. But you can see something nice and smooth and round right there, and then the rest of this is completely taken out. See that? Yeah. Just little things. We're going to get to the better things now. Again, when I look at this whole area right here, look at all of these supposed to be buttes and everything else. I don't think they're buttes at all. And I've done videos in the past where it shows these things are like all lined up. And I mean perfectly lined up. They're not just like one butte and then there's like X amount of feet or miles over. You see another butte. These things are like all in a row constantly. Look at Here's a perfect example. Look at this. Look at the way they're lined up. One, two, three, four. There's something over here. I see this. I can only imagine the raw photo that is. And I mean untouched, you know, totally just normal pictures non-obfuscated or manipulated, so on and so forth. Check this out. I mean, you can see like here, like it's got like these nice straight edges. This looks like a, what do you call it, way back in the distance here. It almost looks like a bridge type thing. You can see like a valley in between it. See that? At least that's what it looks like. And that could be nothing more than shadows, right? Playing games with our eyes. Now let's go back over here. Like I said, just, I mean, they just made this big mishmash of garbage. And that's not what this is, man. This is a joke. Look at this. It actually goes all the way down to here. You can see like a line, but check that out. Goes in the back here. Round it off. And then they make it out to look like a butte. There's one and two here. This again, I mean, I've seen plenty of photos of this. Uh, in this area, and it's just, there's no way that these are just natural. Because some of these things have been so touched up. I mean, it can look like a, a simple mountain now. You look at it and go, well, there's a mountain. What are you talking about? Well, look at this. Let's zoom into this one here. And look at this. Almost looks like a doorway or some kind of structure. On each side of it, there seems to be something vertical on each side. See that? And yet we get something square in the middle with something darker. It looks like something either inside it or partially sticking out of there. What could that be? Check this out. Boom. Nice 90 degree angle. A lot of these, again, are being doctored up to look like hillsides and mountains and buttes and stuff like that. And they're not. Um up here. I'm not sure what to make of this. Right there. And you can see, check this out. Here's an outline right here. Right there going across, up, and over. Like there's an opening right here. Like that. I'm just circling around the cursor. 
There's something else right here. Yeah, they're being hidden. And this is what I'm saying. The lines are being faded out to almost nothing. So you can't see the outline of this. Here's another example right here. Lines are everything. That tells the detail and they've tried to take it out. You can see it goes up like this, goes across, and then it starts to go down. And then it's completely blurred out. Don't see anything there. Now, from a distance, you would just go, well, look, clearly they're mountains. I mean, what are you talking about? I see hills and stuff like that. Yeah, that's not the case, guys. I mean, you can believe it if you like, but I don't. I've been looking at these photos far too long to believe they're nothing more than just hills. Absolute crap. I'm going to show you something else that's pretty wild. All right, in here, everything seems to be the same color, but check this out right here. Look at this area right here. It goes like this, goes around the shape of this item. See that? Comes down, goes around has a centerpiece to it. And again, these are not very clear, so I understand people going, ah, I really can't see it too well. This is the way the GigaPan was made up. In other words, they were just stitched together, the photos. So you're not going to see 100% clear all the time. So I hope you guys understand that. Um, let me just back a little bit and see this right here. It looks like some kind of weird pipe type thing. It looks like something round right here and then something comes straight out. Okay. This side looks like it's buried in this hillside. Check this out. It goes like this here. Almost like a nice complete square. Going like this. And look at the anomalies on top of it. They look like they're just sectioned off. And they appear to have a little bit of a shadow. Like they're off this, whatever this thing is. They appear to be off of just a hair bit. And it's hidden right there. This over here, check this out. You can see the edge of whatever this, look at the shape of this. Going like this. Going down. Okay. Other items way up here. Really hard to see. And I'll tell you why I believe a lot of this is fake. <laughs> Check this out. This is funny. Now we can see the actual... Well, here's the rover itself. And this is a 300... Well, I'm not sure if this is a 360, but it's. I believe it is. Um, but either way, it's still a pan. And, and this is the reason why the rover is stretched out. Because you can see multiple... All of these, they're different frames, and you can see that how they're just kind of put together, right? Now, check this out. Let's look at the actual wheel marks of this rover. There's one here, of course, and you can see it pretty well. And right behind this antenna right here, you can see the other one right there. Okay. See that? It's pretty wide, and you would expect that. But you go way, way back here. Look how wide this still is from here to here. Why is it just as wide here? Is it? And, of course, it's way in the background, as opposed to way over here, which you expect it to be. See it? One and one here on the right. And it seems doesn't seem like it's that wide here. Of course, it is at an angle. But yet it's much wider. It looks like it's much wider in the back. Now, this is this is these are fake, these wheel marks. A lot of what we're seeing here, I can guarantee if we could see this whole area right here, okay, this whole area, you would see structures, bits and pieces of structures, so on and so forth. You would just see some crazy things. Check this out. Looks like a little dome type thing or whatever that is. It's got some kind of little, maybe it's a little crab, a Martian crab. <laughs> All right. So I want to show you something that he's seen as well. Now, one of these things were, in fact, this item here. I want to go ahead and point that back out because I do not take credit for this. This is his find. I found it on the page, what he pointed out. This right here. I'm going to give you the link to this, guys, because I'm going to just show you this. This is pretty wild because it's basically a snapshot from this GigaPan. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this page, and it'll zoom in automatically to the item that I believe is just another, you know, nail in the coffin for NASA. Watch this. As small as this item may be, it doesn't matter. It could be the smallest thing right to the largest thing, like the size of a hilltop or a mountain, right? Just screams intelligently made as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom in check that out when i look at that guys wow now here his his photo he put part of the rover definitely manufactured with that hole now check this out because that is just wild when you see this and then he's got it zoomed in check this out and you can see what looks like this small area right here it looks like it might have been broken off somehow but I want to show you a couple other little things in here that are pretty interesting because I found this when I looked at this thing at a different angle and I was just like, wow, there's something actually under it. Now, I want you guys to take note of, you see all of the little stones and everything else around it, but yet it's completely smooth here. 
something told me there may be a couple little extra little uh, details in it, right? So let's have a look at that. So I'm looking at it right here, and if you look directly under this piece right here, you can see this looks like there's a line right here, very faint, and then it goes directly across. It's light or white. It's either white or a yellow. Now let's get into this because I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. So I lightened it up so you guys could see this better. I'm going to zoom into this. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this right there, but you can just see it just underneath this, this part because it's actually shadowed. You can see it right there. It has a shadow to it. And so you, you, it has that shape like that there. Okay, so there it is right there. So I try to get into this a little bit more so I can show more detail, right? But let me just back up a little bit. I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. Right here on this edge here, too, I'm not so sure if this thing was actually part of something larger, and I believe it was. Okay, because it has this dark, like, rounded piece right here at the very tip of it. So whatever that may be, not sure. But look at this, almost how perfect that hole is, man. You can't get any better than that. But this actually looks like something's thicker around it. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. Let's get more into it. And let's go to the next stage on this. Now, I started to try to burn it to see if there's anything else, again, if there's any detail. Let's just get rid of the color. But check this out. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see this, right here. I can see that, okay? See this? That item is actually there. Whatever this thing is, it's actually off the ground. And it has multiple pieces. Looks like it's something around right here. And coming out of it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but check this out. Let me go back into six right here and then go into seven. And you can see what looks like this actual items in here. You can see this other piece right here. And going across. And you can see this is much more. I believe this item here is much bigger than it is. And it's just protruding out of the ground. In other words, it's much bigger, probably buried. Understand, this thing's probably been there for years. And you can understand that. That's why you only seen the very top of this. And that's why I believe it's not part of the rover at all. And he points out, he does point out that if you go back out of here on this photo, you will see that the rover is nowhere near it. Check this out. Rover is nowhere near it. Here's the actual wheel marks right here. Go back into that right here. I mean, it's a little bit of a distance away, guys. If you were to look at the rover itself, let's get it right here. Okay. Look at the rover. That's got to be a good 10, 15 feet away from it. And some people say, well, maybe it flew off the rover somehow. All right. Well, this thing looks like it's been sitting here for quite a while, guys. Look at that. And it doesn't look like something that was just freshly broken off, if you know what I mean. It's probably been sand beaten and, and weathered and everything else. And it, so I don't believe that it is part of the rover. And you can also see this right here. You can Again, I don't know if you've seen this, but right here, it looks like it's part of this thing. It looks like it's partially buried and then comes back up over but you can see what looks like some kind of round piece right here. Like almost like this was attached to something else. And this was attached like this here. And this might have been just a screw hole. And it, somehow it just broke right there. You know what I mean? See that? That's what I believe is going on here. Um, you guys give me your take on it. What do you think is going on here? But this to me, absolutely 100%. This thing is intelligently made. I don't know why they left it in the picture, but, well, actually, I do. I, I almost I almost want to believe that it's been either a disgruntled employee or they just leave it in there like for little titbits. They throw us a bone every now and then. And this may be just one of those things that they're doing. And coupled to that, just this piece here, you have these telltale signs of these objects that are being hidden in the photo. Like I said, with this square way at the bottom here, or, or way at the back, I should say. You got this right here. Again, you get these telltale signs, these things that are just in the actual m mountains. And if they are mountains, then there was something built near the mountains. Or somehow this stuff got buried, you know, or weathered over the course of time. Um, you can see something else right here, too. Look at this. The outline of this. I don't know if you guys can see this. I showed you this earlier, right there. But then you've got these other pieces right here, like the little slotted areas. And again, the thing on the right. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep it too much longer. Let's go ahead and jump off of this. But to me, this item here alone screams intelligently made. You can just see that. No doubt about it. 
See that? And there's that other piece there. Anyway, guys, like I, told, I always tell you guys, don't always believe what I say. Research it. Check this stuff out for yourself. Get the photo. Download it. Scrutinize it. Check it out yourself, all right? So let's jump out of this. Got some cool ones coming up for you. Again, I've got some more moon. Got another Mars coming up real soon. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I always like to hear your thoughts on what you believe they are. Simple rocks, nothing more, or mountains. Or do you believe there's much more? Because I know a lot of you guys have been looking at these photos for quite a while. It's not just me doing these, right? And I know a lot of people, there's other anomaly hunters have been doing this kind of stuff. If you, Have you seen stuff like this in other videos that look like structures and maybe somebody else hasn't seen them? Or there's other these other people have pointed them out, right? Drop your comments down below, like I said. Anyway, guys, like and definitely share the video. People need to see these objects and see how NASA and JPL and whoever else is doing these. See how they're literally hiding and disguising these things to make them look like hills and mountains, right? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. And I'll see you on the flip side.